professional chess grandmaster, writer, journalist, trainer, coach, and what is more important for me, what I like very much, I am chess promoter. First, when I go to the chess board and show you some games with comments, I will talk to you and explain my view of the situation, what we have now in our chess world. And for us today is most important because I give lesson in what I will share with you, my chess knowledge, that chess is science. Chess is absolutely science. If you want to study chess, if you want to make better results in chess, I can tell you again and again, if you play chess every day, 25 hours per day, not 24, 25 hours per day, if you play chess, you cannot make any progress in chess. But if you study chess and play chess, this combination gives very good results. I try to teach my student with systems that chess is absolute science, and this is true. Because when uh, people study chess, they improve not only in chess, they improve in any other science. Because the way how we study chess, it is the same way how we study other science. And uh, chess, like science, has many law, many principles. I recommend to you, to, uh, to my students, that you must study chess absolutely like science. You must study that this is law principle, what we have in chess, must be working all the times. Of course, chess is not only science, because if this is only science, if this is only principle in law, everybody can learn this law, this principle, and become and play like Asparov. This is not happens. But if you follow principle, for example, in 100 situations, Every time, all 100 situations, you follow principle, you follow this law, I tell you that you have 20 mistakes in 100 times. I guarantee you 20 mistakes in 100 times. But if you not follow principle, if you not follow this law, I guarantee you 80 mistakes in this 100 times. Maybe 20 times you are genius, but in the end of the tournament, you have two points from 10. And who follow principle can have eight points. You can make choice what you want. Or you have two points in the tournament, or you have 80 points. of this. Because again and again, what is chess? Chess, it is to make good result in chess, to make have uh, progress in chess. It is 1% talent and 99% hard work. 1% you use your talent, and 99% is hard work. I will tell you the chess strategy, it is total military strategy, by image, by analogy. I, yeah, believe me that I am not militarist, I am not, but the chess strategy with image, with analogy, it is absolutely military strategy. It is not my view. Maybe you know that many hundred years ago in, in military academies, we have chess like subject. And maybe you know that Napoleon said that good general must be good only when he very good play chess. But most important, I uh, make six most important principles. What we must do in opening. And believe me, if you understand this principle, if you follow this principle, there's no need to learn all the books about opening. Maybe you, by this principle, you can make your own encyclopedia chess opening. Principle number one, try to take center by pawns. In opening, try to use only central pawn, E and D. Sometime, sometime plus pawn C and F. Because when I say that you must take center by pawn, use this is means that black must not give you this advantage. Or again, I say that e, or you have idea this advantage destroyed 
in future. Because when I say that you must take center by pawn, use this is means that black must not give you this advantage. Or again, I say that e or you have idea this advantage destroyed in future. Second principle: develop your minor pieces in one tempo in center. But immediately you give me question: from which side I must develop my minor pieces first? Because we have minor pieces in the king side and the queen side. Answer is develop in center, in one tempo, your minor pieces from side which you want castle. For example, you want castle in the king side. It is means in one tempo develop your minor pieces from this from this side. Principle number three, castling. It is not move, it is maneuver. And I must talk about this more carefully with you. For example, what have a look? King. In opening, he is not king. He is baby. Your baby. Because when you think that you, uh, in middle game you must go and make war, because middle game this is chess war, you must be worried about your baby. And castling, this is maneuver where you put your baby king, what is not king, he is in the future become king. What he become, what he, you put him in safe place. In safe place. Because castling, this is maneuver when you put your king, your baby in safe place, and now you are free to make war. One, uh, my friend, when he listened to this, my image, he said, yes, of course, how I can make war if I have in one hand baby and in other hand machine gun? When he in the castle, please, without ideas, not move by pawns. It is like my image when you, without idea, push the pawn in area where stay your baby. It is like you put your baby near to window and open window. But his baby, he can become cold. Because, please, not touch any his friend. They must looking after him. He must be in safe place. <clears throat> no, uh, now, principle number four, you continue to develop your minor pieces from the side, from other side. If you have idea of castle in the king side, now you develop your minor pieces, same in one tempo, same in center, from other side. Principle number five, it is only now the time when you must develop, when you must mobilize queen. You must mobilize queen near to center, but in this square in which uh, opponent pieces, more smaller pieces, cannot disturb the queen. No, for example, uh, now you develop queen here, and mobilization is finished when you bring your rook in center. What right now you, like Minister of Defense, can give report to Prime Minister and say that my army is developed. Now I ready to make defense, to make attacking. And believe me, if you ask Fischer, Kasparov, Karpov, Anand, Kamsky, or all together, what you want to have in opening, they can tell you. No, they not answered you that I will have one queen more, or one rook more, or one bishop or pawn. No, they answered you. I will have advantage in develop. Pawn cost $1. Knight cost three dollars. Bishop, it is maybe a surprise for you, cost three fifty. Rook five dollars or five pawns, you were like you said. Queen nine and king have not price. Of course, many of you immediately tell me why you give uh, say that bishop is more strong than knight. Yesterday I sh I see the game in what knight is so strong. And he, he makes so good job. And uh, I see 10, 100 uh, possible. Yes, my friend, this is true. But 
this is price what I give to bishop more expensive than knight go from the law of statistics. If you take 100,000 games, 10,000 games, not make a special choice, and if you take this as game, and if you calculate, you can see that in 80% in these games, bishop is more strong. Because I will tell you that you must accept this price for your progress in chess. When you get good level of chess, only in this time you can make choice. What is, when is knight? not so strong, but because I tell you again and again, if you follow principle what I recommend to you, you in 100 times you make 20 mistakes. Guarantee you that you have 20 mistakes. But if you think, for example, that knight is like bishop or knight is more strong than bishop, I guarantee you that in the in same 100 situation, you make 80 mistakes. Maybe in 20 times you are genius. But in the end of the tournament, you have two points from 10. And this is who follow principle can have eight points. Uh, and same, I will tell you, different that every pawn, it is not like one dollar. Every pawn have different price. Central pawn in opening and in middle game cost one dollar. Pawn C in F, I tell you, in opening and in middle game. In end game, price go another way. Pawn C in F, 90 cents. Pawn B in G, 80. And pawn A in H, 70 cents. This is, it is like you, maybe you say, oh, this is mechanical uh, way to study chess. No. This is, you must only know this is, and this is working same in 80% in every game. D4, immediately by the principle you understand that when white play D4, what they want? Next move must be E4, because he won't take center by pawns. Black can make classical, uh, way to stop to do this is, or they make same normal move, they develop minor pieces and stop to play for white e4. Because white played c4 with idea develop knight to c3 and try to take center by four. Black go to modern system, what we have now, because chess strategy it is, I tell you, like military strategy. And for military strategy, we must not have passive way. We must not make symmetry. And uh, uh, chess, uh, like if you're looking for chess strategy, like a uh, military strategy, it is mean, meaning that attack and counterattack. We must have, we must all, all every time have um, something opposite uh, what do your opponent. Knight c3, bishop g7, e4, d6. What have a look. I tell you that first principle is take center by pawn. White take center by pawn. It is means, maybe you think, oh, black lost his strategy in opening. They give advantage to white to, because they take center by pawn. But no, this is like in every law in any science, for example, uh, what we have science uh, law from physics, when you lost in one type, when you lost in, uh, in speed, you win in territory. Yes, this is, you have a look. They take center by pawn, but black not lost something. They develop two pieces. They lost in the understanding pawn center and win in understanding develop pieces. You know, this is every time like in any law in other science. And for example, now we have this general who looking after white army, we have general who looking after black army, and they decided, they have planned, uh-huh, I lost in develop, 
I must more quickly develop my pieces to make equal development. And what think black general? Yes, he takes center, but I must destroy this center. But he can destroy it only when he finish develop. You cannot make, because destroyed, it is means open war. You cannot open war when you not develop pieces. Small plan for black. I won't finish develop and destroy center. Destroy it is means uh, attacking this center. And now white play f3. That by doing this move, white prepared very aggressive plan. First, they won't play bishop e3, queen d2. No, of course, when black is castling and attacking king who is not king, baby, in the, what we say, in the castle. But castle a little, a little destroyed. Because when you have pawn here, for example, in, in the first place, what is means attacking? To attacking, you must, you must open line. But when pawns in one line, is very difficult to open line. But when one of the friend of this baby who must looking of him make move, he help to white open this line. And you know that white play g4, h4, h5. This is plan. I show you plan. And after they want to open line, open line for rook. Now we make image why this is. After they want change all the pieces who looking after baby. He won't change every pieces who looking after baby. And if you come very near to the chessboard, you can listen. You can listen. This baby cry because everybody leave him. And this is, it is plan what prepared white. What prepared white, how to attacking baby in the castle. And now we open that uh, bishop e3, knight c6. Now, black general, I tell you, part of the chess game, you must not only play with the knowledge what you learn from the book. This is A, B, C, this is all very. First, you must understand what you want. You must, um, uh, big part of the chess game, you can play with understanding. That now you think, chess general, black chess general think, how I can defend my baby. Believe me, that you cannot defend him. The best defense to your baby, it is attacking, counterattacking. This uh, counterattack, it is best defense. Or I can say that defense, it is best way to losing your game. Only defense. Knight c6. Knight, it is possible bishop e3 or possible bishop g5. This is two ways. In this game, white play bishop g5. In this game, what I will show you. It is uh, a little different uh, with uh, this, this. You know that this variation has name. Uh, Zemish system, and we have one way by bishop e3, another way by bishop g5. And with same idea, queen d2 and attacking in the king's side. And this is move like a little provocation. He said, please touch me. But in chess, we have very strong law, very strong. I recommend you follow without exception. Never not push your pawns in this side in what your opponent more strong. Because you make more weaknesses. Yes, after h6, he can go back. And after he use this h6 for queen d2 attacking this pawn, and the position of the king of the baby is become more weak. Bishop g5. No, after this variation is more popular, uh, popular c5, but I prepared 
this way, knight c6. Knight c6. Why I prepare? This is same move provocation. Because in general, if you can uh, make image, it is very good for black, for white, sorry, if you closed everything. What, for example, we make not natural. Now you closed everything. And this way, make advantage white more bigger. Because black have not counterplay, and white only looking how attacking king side. Because for black is more important, is uh, important to make counterattack. It is means to open line, what you said very well, is try to open line in center. But if you cannot open line in center, you must look at how to make counterattack in the opposite side. Because this is move knight c6 is a little provocation. Why? Because if white now play d5, because one of the advantages when you have pawn center, it is because that when you have pawn center, mobile pawn center, you can push these pawns. And pieces who will go in center, they must go back. They must make second move, what is not good. But you can win tempo. But the, after this knight go in center, and black can make counterplay by c6, by e6, they can open line. They can open what we say in military, open second front. And you know how this is important to have open second front if war go in one side. We can uh, have this is, uh, from the history, second war. You know, when Germany attacking Soviet Union, and in the first year, they have advantage because they better prepared. And uh, after uh, Soviet Union take advantage, but war is finished more fast when our friends, United States, England, French, when they open second front. What is means? Why the war finished more fast? Because Germany who have 1,000 tanks in the Russian front, they must take maybe 500 tanks to defense again. This is means that aggressor, this is who attacking, he cannot only attacking, he must defend his house. You see, and the war is finished more fast when our friends open second front. Same in chess. If I show you, if this is all closed, is more chance for, for white make very strong attack. But if you play d5, next move I play c6, I open line c, and I use this line for counterattacking. Because this is move knight c6, it is like provocation. White play knight e2. Now I tell you, we ha I not show you any variation. I only show you understanding what must do white, what must do black. And this is every move coming to you from understanding chess. And now black decided, OK, you will attacking my baby in the king's side. But I will ask you, what you do with your baby? Where he must stay during when you are attacking? In center, impossible. It's dangerous. Maybe you can ask me, why dangerous? Dangerous. If you put your king in center in 100 situation, you lost 80 times your game. It is, I tell you, I, know, I cannot show you how this wins, but it is bad. By law, by principle, because chess is science. Another way, when you want attacking king's side and you push the pawn, it is means that king not make castle in the king's side. It's unlogical. It is means that black open, same, that king must be here. Must be here today, tomorrow, after one month, 10 years, but he must be here. It is law. And believe me that it is impossible in other. And in other way, why you must understand, then when you want attacking, the law said that you can attacking only when you develop all your pieces. If you not make long castle, like minimum rook is not in attack. I give you from another side that this is must be happens. Because now black prepared plan when king coming here, 
When he coming here, black must go to the station when he is coming, not by flowers, yes? Because this is war, yes? He must come with the weapons, with dynamite, yes, I don't know. Because black thing, uh-huh, you will become here. I must do same what you won't do here when you won't attacking. I must open line. Open line, you must play a6. With idea, rook b8, b5, open line. This is same what he do. Queen d2, rook b8. You see that when you understand the plan, when you make the good plan, is no need every move thinking because you make plan and follow this plan. He castle, you play b5. And now white play h4. And black play h5. I tell you a few minutes ago that never not push pawn in this side in what, but this is player is not beginner, you know, and they know when they must use. This is uh, general law or not. But I tell you, by doing this, you make position king more weak because when white prepared g4, when they prepare, they open more lines, like when you not make h5. But another side of this move in this game, that this is not make defense for king. It is, means we will, we will win time to preparing for counterattack. White make long castle and b5. You see, this is only way. He will attack in here, you must attack in here. It is no way. Of course, the best way open line in center. But it is not working. Because if you, for example, try to play e5, it is very dangerous because first he can took and after knight d5 and very, uh, or he can play d5. You know, he closed the center and looking for only attacking in the king's side. E5 in this system not working because B5 and now white play bishop H6. You know that every move, every ideas in chess game, they, we cannot say that this is only positive. We, what we say in life that they have two sides of medals. I tell you we have two sides of this move. First side, positive, it is like balance, you know, what we put in the positive. In positive side we put that white play this move, they will change to make attack against king, against baby. They will change one of his friend who looking after him. It is positive, it is without question when you took away this is bishop, the baby start crying because he lost good friend who looking after him, who stay with him. It is positive. What is negative? Negative will change bishop who make two moves. Bishop g5, one. Bishop h6, two. Two moves he make, yes? And this bishop only make one move. It is like you change two tempo to one tempo. For example, if you accept this image, the chess game, it is like life, we can say, how is our life? How long is our life? General, I give 100 years, thank you God, yes? 100 years. How long one chess game? 50 moves. It is means that one tempo in chess game costs two years in real life. Please think about this. This is very expensive, but it is, must be not new for you because in the business we have, what is time is money. Same in chess, because chess is life. We must talk, we must have knowledge about understanding good or bad bishop. Good or bad bishop. I uh, change this understanding of two moment, good or bad bishop in opening in middle game, this is A, and good or bad bishop in end game. In opening and in middle game, good bishop 
or bad bishop, you must only uh, looking together with the pawn structure in center. If pawn structure in center in same color square like your bishop, your bishop is bad. For example, this bishop is bad because you have pawn on d6 and e7. But right now is very good time to make counterattacking in center. Why? Because he give you present. He give you one tempo. He give you, but this is counterattacking center. You remember, it's coming from the opening. I tell you that he must destroy center. And for example, when bishop here, and you play e5, and he closed the center, this is bishop is good. Because all pawns in the center in the white square. But right now, when you play bishop h6 and you change here, king takes g7. Now, if you play d5, what is very good when you have black bishop, now you have position weakness. You have bad bishop. And my bishop is good. Of course, you can say what is different. You have good bishop, you have bad bishop, but I will kill you. I will kill you by making attack. Yes, if you give checkmate, it is not so important you give checkmate by good bishop or by bad bishop. But if you not give checkmate, you have position weakness. And this is weakness very, very strong. Very not strong, uh, opposite strong. Yeah? Because now white decided not closed center. Because if they closed center now, yes, I go to make counterattack in the king side, in the queen side. And you, you from attacking side become defense side. Because now, how to play for, for white? What they can do? Because now I want to take this pawn. And if you take this pawn first, you remember that you lost money. Because you change pawn C against pen, pawn A. And you open more lines. You lost 20 cents. It is maybe not so important, but it is important. Plus, you open more lines in the side when is your baby. And uh, situation for white king is more dangerous like for black king. Now, what you recommend to play? Now, how to play? Situation in center, what, what you can do? And white decided that maybe the best, and this is many times working, when I change here this pawn. I change this pawn. How to play for black? First, your impression immediately take by knight. By knight, attacking c4, but this is not good. Because white now can maybe immediately play knight f4, or first change. And after playing knight f4, and they keep square d5 for knight. This is very, very big advantage for white. But white now take, of course, in e5, they take by pawn. This is very strong move. Why? Every pieces in the chess game, they won't go to center. And have a look. The, this is knight, he's like a little discriminate. He have not way to go in center. And this is very bad. And not only he not very happy. Same bishop. Bishop cannot develop. And by playing d5, we said that now in the white position, we have weaknesses. Black square weaknesses. Have a look. Square d4 is very weak. And we say that weak Square, this is square, who cannot be controlled by pawn, who cannot be defensed by pawn. This is square is weak. And, and in general, we said black squares is weak. Of course, now, the best for black to try to equalize position, to change queens. But position is better for black, because in position white, we have weak black squares. If you ask me, show me how do you give checkmate, I cannot show you. But I tell you again and again that to keep small advantages, small, you can make big advantage. And this is big 
that it is advantage for black if they change. Because white think, no, I will continue to attack. And he not change queens, play queen g5. Attacking queen and looking maybe to attacking g4. Yes, this is idea. And now queen must move. Is only way queen e7. Now is uh, bla white looking maybe attacking king side. For example, play g4. But this is not working because black take here. And when you push pawn to try to open line and very fast give checkmate, but black have very nice defense, knight h7. Because every time when you want defense, you try to change pieces. This is best way to defense. And now, if you change, there's no question that you have winning position because you have one pawn more and many position uh, advantages. Uh, if you, for example, not change queen and go from here, first I can close this line by g5, and this is very good. Or I can play queen g5, same, try to change queens. And this is advantage. Because white cannot play g4, and they think how to, how to continue this game. Because now black won't take this pawn. To take this pawn is not good, because I open more lines. And white play knight d5. What from this time is every uh, talking about uh, uh, that you can only play by understanding is finished. Now, like in every game, we have part when you can play by understanding, but you're coming to to situation when you only calculate now. Plan calculate very strong, because any mistake in calculation, but to, uh, to make advantage, you can do by understanding chess. Now he played knight d5. What? Black must take on, the, on d5. And now you can take by two pawns, by pawn c or by pawn e. Because rook take d5 is a terrible move, because after you only lose temp to go if I attacking by bishop e6. Because it is only... Uh, uh, you can take by pawn, by this pawn, or by this pawn. If you take by this pawn, queen take g5, h take g5, and now this is knight go to a5, and he will transport it to d6, plus black have idea to play c5 and blockade knight on d6, or plus they have idea to play c6. It is happens in few games, and white have not advantage. Maybe black can only have a little better situation. For example, knight c3, bishop d7, I, uh, regular move. Bishop e2, for example, I can play c5. If you take, I take by bishop, it is good enough. Or uh, I can play knight b7 and put knight on d6, same is good, is good enough for black. Because White have weakness, bad bishop. In this game, Grandmeister Mestel think another. He think that he must not looking for go to equal position, and he play e d5. Very interesting move, because now this bishop have job when he put him on d3, and now. This is situation what I recommend before by changing queens is not working because this pawn is weak now. And for example, if I play knight e5, you can play knight c3, you can give this pawn, you have this square, plus this pawn is weak. I attacking, you cannot defend. When we have this situation, you see this pawn is nothing. He is uh, good enough because he is not in the open line. Now, this way is not working. And black must play another. They must play, black must play only f6. Because he attacking knight, knight cannot move, we lose queen. Change and go, not good. 
only move f6. But this is move is make a little weak black king. But this is only one way. Queen d2. Why queen d2, not queen e3? Because black can play knight e5 immediately and looking for counterattacking in the king's, in the queen's side. Queen d2 not give you chance to go knight e5. And now, very strong move in this game, very strong move. This is rook d8. What's the idea of this move? What's the idea? Idea is that now knight c6 and knight e2, they have very strong talk. Because knight, this knight, what he want? He want coming in center. This knight only who can stop him to go here. But to stopping him, he have quarrel with the bishop who talk to him. What you do? I won't go in the, in the middle of life and you not give me you. But he say, yes, I can, I can go. But if I go, all my family have big problem. Agree? For example, if you now play knight c3, he go knight d4. After I play c5 or c6, and this is fantastic advantage for black. Maybe near to winning position because my situation in the queen side is more strong like you can make <coughs> attack in the king side. Because this is conflict, big conflict between two knights. You see, nobody not talk, but they understand. He cannot move and he don't want to move until time when he move. How to play? And this is cannot take because I take your queen. Now, you calculate. I want that this knight go away, for example. What I can do? I can throw away my queen from line D. Yes? From line D. This is if I go and, for example, queen E1, now I attack in your knight. Knight, when he move, he cannot move here. This is nothing. If he move like this, and now, white can go here, knight c3. And have a look. Now white have very good position. Knight far away, I don't know, and they develop very good. And after he looking how attacking king side. Because now, if you understand this conflict, you must think what I can do. And this is now what you can do. And maybe the best now, the best now, it is sacrifice. Sacrifice knight. For example, queen c5, queen c5. Again, what you must do? Because white, when they follow principle, when they, it is a principle, it is not like something uh, wrong. It is principle by law. You must develop pieces. You cannot play if you not develop pieces. You must develop. But how to develop? If knight c3, I play knight d4. I solved my problem. I have better uh, chance to make attack. But if you take the knight, this is calculation. Now is only calculation. Queen e3, check. What you can do, you, for example, play rook d2. And now, bc4. And uh, very complicated variation, what shows that position uh, uh, for uh, white is very dangerous, very losing position. Uh, because now, maybe after queen e3 check, you can go king b1. Bishop f5 check. King a1, I show you one of the main analyses. This is bc4. You see, real white has one piece more. But de facto, this is pieces not working. What you can do? And maybe the best way is to play now knight g3. Try to, to change pieces. Best way, rook take d1. Queen take d1, 
Now black has rook d8. You cannot take because queen c1 checkmate. For example, you take knight take f5, g take f5. What you can play? You have only one move, queen b1, yes? And now c3. How to play? I should queen e1 after queen c5 make advantage for black. Knight c3, I play knight d4. Maybe queen c3, maybe queen c3, to say go from c6 this knight. But queen c3 is very dangerous because after knight b4, I won't take this pawn and you near to resign because king b1, bishop f5 check. A3 you cannot play. Queen b3 you put your queen against rook. Very bad. Because now white decided that how I can defense here. And they follow theory that best defense it is attacking. And now white decided king is not so, so good now. We must open the line. We must open lines. But of course not f4, what you recommend? By g4. And you must not think I give pawn. If you accept image, the chess strategy, it is like military strategy. You must understand. It is not so important. If you lose pawn, knight, bishop, the idea to win company. I tell you what happens in the second war. We lost. Belarusia, we lost Ukraine, we lost half Russia. But who is winner of the war? Who remembers that we lost? We remember only what we win. We win the company together with our friends. We win the company. How many soldiers dead? Yes, it is bad, very bad. But we win company. Chess game, we must give checkmate. And if you give checkmate, you are a heroine. Nobody not ask you how you spend pawns, how you G4, this is best defense for this king, for this baby. Attacking this baby. You want open line. And when you open line, who is more faster? Who is faster? Now you sacrifice pawn. But if you take this pawn, for example, white can play h5. Have a look, so strong move. Now, I won't take and few moves, I give you checkmate. Because black must close the line. But white has very, this is nice move. He attacking king, and in same time, he attacking knight. Yes, have a look. I play queen c2, I looking here, and looking here. But this is way is not the best, because black can take here. And all complication, what happens after this, it is good for black, good for black. But white has another very, but of course, you must be worried about this. You must calculate this. It is not like I show you, it is like you read in the book. Did you play game? You must calculate during the game. But if he take here, is more strong if white take this pawn with idea h5 with idea h5. And if you take this pawn, if you take this pawn, bishop take g4, white play rook g1, they sacrifice pawn for what? Open line to attacking object, king attacking. What is pawn? One, one pawn is nothing for have chance to attacking this. And attack is very, very strong. And when I play this game, I have image. I cannot calculate to end how this is good or bad to take this pawn. I cannot calculate because I'm not computer, you know. Maybe computer can make billion comparison and uh, maybe the, but this is, and uh, why chess, it is very interesting for scientist people. Because how I think not spend time to calculate this is all, because I cannot calculate to end. And I only use something what is like intuition, something like 
when I put all together my knowledge, my understanding, my intuition all together, and I make solution, not take pawn. Follow my strategy. The best defense is what? Counterattack. What I must do? What you recommend me by my character to do in this game? I open line. I play. B takes C4. Yes, but now I must calculate a lot. For example, first move what I must calculate if he takes this pawn, because his idea to open, yes? To open line, because if I take, he give me check, it is very fast I take checkmate, yes? Now, what I can do, I go night before. Oh, sorry, I go bishop f5 with one variation. If you take here, for example, yes, and now you won't push every pawn. And I will play knight before. I will give you checkmate. Yes? Now, only one defense is knight c3. Knight c3. Because now, but right now, I have very nice combination. I can take this pawn by rook, and game is finished. Because he cannot take my rook, I give knight a2 checkmate. Yes? And when I take this pawn, position white is like card house, yeah. card playing card house. No more. Because he, in this time, when he takes here, and I play bishop f5, uh, uh, and I play Bishop, uh, and I play knight b4, he must only play knight c3. Now I play bishop f5, with idea rook take d5, he must only take this pawn. And have a look, white develop, Finnish develop, and his attack is very strong because line is open. But this position I must calculate, calculate to end. And now, I calculate move queen c5. I attacking bishop. And during the game, I calculate how white can play. In the, if they play bishop b3, I have knight d3 check and open check after what I calculate. And the, I think this is good for black. I cannot calculate all. I only calculate very uh, line what I think is good for, for now. If he play b3, I think this is cannot be good because this is open. But I uh, now will tell you a story. I only calculate during the game queen e2. Most, more simple move, a more logical move. But after queen e2, I open combination during the game. Combination is like this, bishop d3. Now you must take only by bishop because if you take by rook, I take this, I attacking rook and attacking this pawn by knight a2. Because bishop d3, now knight take a2 check, you have only one move, king c2, king b1 is impossible, king c2, now new sacrifice, rook take b2, king take b2, queen take c3 check, king take a2, and now, Rook b8, rook b8. What I want, I won't give you checkmate like this. Queen b3 check, king a1, queen a3 check, only one move, queen a2, and queen c3 checkmate. Now, how to defense? How to defense against? In same time, I will give this checkmate, queen a5 check, line checkmate. How to defense? Is only one move. Bishop b5, I didn't see any other move. Because if queen d2, I give you this checkmate, what I show you. Queen d2, I give you queen b3, king a1, queen a3, you must close, and queen c3. And after bishop b5, I give you queen a5 check, because everything you must go by tempo, by non-stop. King b1, rook take b5, 
and you must give your queen for rook. And uh, when I take queen, because in other you take checkmate very fast if you not give queen. I give you very simple checkmate. Queen take b5, queen take b5, king c2, and now I take this pawn. It is very important. And you lost all your pawns, and in this position, queen is more strong than the two knight, two rooks, and because you lose all the pawns by checks, and uh, end game is losing for white. What this is combination, I calculate during the game. But I tell you that for me, chess is art. And for me, good game is not only what you win. For me, good game, if this is game, is art. If this is game in what you cannot say you win, but if your opponent play another, you're losing. This is not game for me. This is nothing. It is, uh, for me, game is logical line. And when I came back after this game, I make an analyze. And about three months, I cannot get it answered after B3. How black can win this game? How black, not only to win, how black can make show advantage? It is means if B3 is good for white, it is means that game is not art. In this price, what I get it is nothing. It is wrong. I must send back the money, what I don't want, but uh, not become uh, chess is like art. In three months, believe me, three months I cannot open how I can play after B3. And one day I wake up, and like everything beautiful is every time very simple. And this move, what I open, is so simple that you can say, how you did not see this is so simple move? And move is after three months, not good sleeping, is night take the five. Night take the five. You cannot take by night. You cannot take by night because, what because? Please. Yes, please. But it is video, we cannot wait so long, yes? <laughs> After knight take d5, is queen take c4, and rook b1 checkmate. So simple, so simple. And if you take by bishop, I take by rook. You cannot take by knight because arbiter is very near to you, and you cannot take by queen because queen takes c3, checkmate. So simple. Yes, my friend. You must be not surprised that some moves is so simple. Because b3 is not working. Another two months, I cannot sleep because I cannot get it answered. What happens if white play bishop b3? During the game, when you play game, oh, this is, cannot be. Knight d3 check, and after open check. But I only see that after bishop b3, I see only, uh, this is queen on c5, sorry. Yeah, I only see that knight d3, king b1, and now knight f2, and you win exchange up, but your king is so weak that position is winning for white. But uh, after this, is, I only see uh, drop. After rook take b3, knight b4, and this is only drop. Uh, because but answer, I believe that if in every variation you have solution, is must be here. What this is, I believe, and this is my chess always, I play. Yes, sorry. Thank you. And uh, I believe that must be solution. And believe me that I same not sleep a few months. I cannot get an answer. How to play? Only after a few months, I open brilliancy something. A5. Idea, I won't play A4. And if you take by bishop, I give you knight A2 checkmate. This is idea. Now, what you can do? You cannot play A3 or A4 because bishop have no foundation, have no defending. And this is many moves winning. But maybe you can play like this. Queen E2, A4, and go back. Bishop c4. You remember that we have this position. In this position is winning bishop d3. In this position, 
Because after, if you remember, I have idea queen a5 checkmate. Now the line a is closed, but combination is working, but with another idea. Bishop d3, bishop d3, knight a2 check, king c2. Now this is rook b2 is not working, because after rook take b2, king take b2, queen take c3, queen take a2, you have not this is idea of this checkmate, what we have before. But in this position, but after we play bishop d3, now knight a2 check, king c2, and now this is like this pawn in my image, it is like train. He go and make faster and faster, you know, a5, a4, this, and a3 is finished, the game. <laughs> a3, no, how this is explained in English. The train have more bigger speed, you understand? In pawn a3, game is finished. For example, for example, no, this is, uh, for example, rook b1, because I won't play rook take b2 check. Yes, if you take, I take knight. Rook b1, rook take b2 check, rook take b2, uh, queen take c3, king b1, a take b2, and this is, game is finished. You cannot take, I rook a8, rook a1, very fast checkmate. This is all variations show you that white cannot take on h5 to open line. And white play knight c3, knight c3. Now, the idea that to play knight d4, it is not so strong, because white has very strong move, queen g2, with idea gh, and position is absolutely unclear, absolutely. Maybe I can tell you that if I, I prepare to play with white. Because this is many magazines who publish this game, I tell you that this is many magazines, they uh, I play h take g4, and this is only one move. And they say that knight d4 or h g4 go to same position. No. I play h take g4, but to playing this move, I must calculate very long variation. And I show you. After h g4, white has this move. This is a strong move. It is idea to counterattacking. You know, the best defense is counterattacking. And black has only one move, only one logical move, no more, g5. Because if I take, you cannot make defense for your baby. He's much weaker like uh, this king. And now, <clears throat> only one move, g5. But white has, this is, this is nice move, yes? Attacking knight and go inside. But we must calculate to win. Knight d4, queen g6 check, king f8, king f8. Now, how to play? Because black want to play bishop f5. And if you give check, I can close by queen and the game is over. It's black must winning because material advantage plus position advantage. Because how to play? And uh, is only one way to complicate is play d6. To give job to this bishop sometime. Have a look what happens, fourth variation. C take d6, now h6, no another, h6. Now I want to play h7 in new queen. Only one move is bishop f5. Queen trap. But we make new queen. h7. What you can do? What you can do? You must take. Bishop take g6. h8 queen. King f7. Bishop c4 check. You see, we have this queen. 
We must put quid here, yes? Bishop c4 check is attacking. Attack white go very, very fast. d5. Bishop take d5 check. Any other move, I take your queen. You cannot win uh, nothing. Uh, bishop d5. Rook take d5. Attacking queen. Queen take b8. Have a look. White has material advantage, but black. How to defend this king? Only attacking this king. Please? Uh, very nice. Knight e2 check. Only one way to take. Continue. Queen c5 check. Only one move back. Queen e3. Next move checkmate. This variation you must calculate when you play h take g4. I, uh, this is game, normally I not show this game in my lectures. Because uh, uh, this is, but I will show to you because I show you to use it. Game is never cannot be played only by understanding. It is you can make your plan in the first part of the game. You understand chess. You must use your understanding chess. And you can make preparation for war. But every time in game, we have critical moment when any subject of uh, thinking, like in general, is not working. You must calculate move by move, move by move. Because another winning position, you can lose it if you not calculate good. Because you must study chess for two ways. First way, understand chess. And if you believe, you, you must understand that this is everything, every discalculation coming from my belief that strategy, my strategy, is good. And I tell you how I not sleep five months. I believe that everything what I make in the opening, it is absolutely by uh, right uh, philosophy, by right understanding. It is must be solution. It is because I tell you that this is a combination for white when he take is impossible. White try to consolidate positions. They play knight c3. And now black play hg4. H, G4. And to make this move, what I tell you previously, you must calculate very, very long variation, what you see a few minutes ago. But many uh, magazines who publish this game, not with my comments, they say that this is not so important. Or you play A, G4, or you play Knight, D4. The game go to same way. No, it is wrong. If black play now knight d4, I tell you white has very strong move, queen g2. And uh, after gh, maybe advantage go to white. I tell you this is uh, before. I only remind you. Because now I'm, the best move is h take g4. And white play bishop take c4. All complication, what can happen after h5, we analyzed a few minutes ago. Bishop take c4. And only now knight d4, knight d4. No attacking pawn is force only one move. F take g4, and now situation very complicated because white same won't play h5 or sometime g5. It is very dangerous position for both sides. Bishop take g4, now black take this pawn. Rook f1. Rook f1. And now, again, the strongest move in this position. Only attacking. Best defense is only counterattacking. Rook b4. Now, how to play? If you play, if white defends this bishop by b3, black will sacrifice exchange up. Rook takes c4, b takes c4, and rook b8. And uh, against queen a3, you have not uh, good defense. It is losing position. If you play, for example, in this position, 
after rook b4, bishop take a6, for example, because you must defend the bishop. Rook b2, you will take pawn, and if you play b3, rook take b3, and uh, white must resign. Because if you take, I take and win your queen. Because now, white try the last chance. The same follow principle that best defense is attacking. And they play h5. The best defense is counterattacking. And have a look. One move, h take g6, and game is over. But over, f that black must resign because you cannot stop attack. And force variation. Rook takes c4. H take g6. You see? One move and everything finished. Rook take c3. Now, if you take rook by pawn, I give you queen a3 check. It's only one move, queen b2, because if you play king b1, followed by rook b8, king a1, and knight b3 check. Must resign. Yes. But uh, if you play queen b2 in this position, I can change. Or I can give you check first. Check. King b1. After change. After change. And knight g3. And I win material. And white must resign. After rook c3, check. White take by queen. Knight e2, check. King c2, knight take c3, white give rook h7 check, king take g6, rook take e7, knight take d5, and like black said, why you come to my house? I not invite you here. And aggressor dead. And uh, white resigned. This is game, I tell you again, take prize for brilliancy in uh, Hastings Festival in 87. And maybe I remind you that in this year in Hastings we have celebration. It is 100 years for these traditional chess tournaments. First, I will tell you that my opinion is that uh, the winner of the tournament, it is not only chess player who make more points. For me, and maybe for uh, few people, the winner of the tournament is chess player who make the best game. Yes, because in the history, we have not only uh, the how points get this player or this, but we have in the history best games. But for example, if I ask you what you remember from the first match between Fischer and Spassky, and I believe that not many of you can tell me what result in the match, how points have Fischer, how Spassky, who win game number nine, or but absolute peop uh, more people can say, oh, I remember second game, bishop take h2, or I remember this brilliant game, 13th game. I tell you that winner of the tournament, for many people, it is chess player who make brilliant game. Because I am happy that I have some game for who take prize for the best game in the tournament. For example, now I will show you my game against Grandmaster Ivanovich from Yugoslavia in general. Grandmaster Ivanovich, now Minister of Sport in Chernogoria. And uh, this game we played in uh, Memorial Chigorin in Sochi. It is uh, in uh, Black Sea in 79. Uh, in this game has name in the chess literature that this is Diamond from Sochi. Have a look. Maybe you think like this. Maybe this is Diamond. Maybe this is Gold. Have a look, please. I play with white, e4. Ivanovich played c5. Knight f3, knight c6, d4, 
c d4, knight a d4, knight f6, knight c3. And now Ivanovich play e5. Uh, in this time when we have this game, same like today, is this is variation very popular. First, his name is variation uh, Pelikan. After, you can see in the book variation Sveshnikov or Timoshenko. But in general, it is not so important what name, but what is idea of this variation. You can see that black attacking knight who stay in center. Now, knight must leave very good position in center. Uh, if you're looking for change, it is absolute anti-position because when you play e5, black have weak square on d5. Weak square, it is means that when this square in center cannot be defense by pawn. But if you change knight, pawn takes c6, no problem with the square d5. This is pawn become more important because he more expensive become. It is, of course, this change nobody cannot recommend you. Now, where you want to go? If you go to b3 or to f3, black play bishop b4, attacking pawn e4, and prepare for very uh, nice program move d7, d5. Because only way now to play bishop b5. Because if you want to play knight e5 with idea transported knight f5, e3 to d5, but black has tactical uh, possibilities. They can play d5 and have very uh, normal position. Because Teoria said only about knight b5. Now you won't play knight d6 check. Uh, and black must give his bishop because normal move is d6. So now many ways in this variation, this very popular variation now. It is bishop g5 or a4, but I stop my attention to variation knight d5. This is same possible move and very interesting uh, problem uh, this move make for black. First, I won't give you knight c7 check because black must only take this knight. And e take d5. Now you must move by knight. First, of course, not everybody won't go back to this position from where he came in the life. But another possible knight e7 have uh, not many people like this move. Because after c4 or c3, c4, we have uh, uh, black cannot play a6. Because immediately white play queen a4. And uh, uh, white want to give checkmate. You see? Knight c7 checkmate or knight take d6 checkmate. And uh, uh, black losing like minimum exchange up. And game is near to losing. But uh, of course, a6 is mistake. And uh, only black must play knight g6 or knight f5. This is very interesting that many years ago, I give my uh, lesson to very talented player, Joshi Witskin. And uh, I show to him this game and tell to him about this variation. And after a few months, when I leave United States, I get a very nice letter from young and talented boy, Joshi Wiskin. He write to me that he become champion United States. And the last round, he beat his opponent by using this variation. His opponent play a6. And he show, he write me his game. And he become junior champion United States. I am very happy that he made this result. But uh, uh, Grandmaster uh, I uh, Ivanovich, he knows this, and he play knight b8. This is Teoria recommend like the best in this situation. I play c4, he play a6, I play knight c3, and now black play knight d7. It's a normal move, develop, bishop e2. 
And I will tell a few words about this position. It is, uh, you know, how important now information that people know about last game, about every novelty, what make another grandmaster or master in different part of the world. And uh, this position we have in game uh, Tal Tseshkovsky in zonal tournament. In, uh, and uh, uh, Tseshkovsky make with black pieces, he make plan like this. Bishop e7, castle. After black play castle. And in future, they use idea to play f5. After he use idea bishop f6, g6, bishop g7. And the character position is like in King's Indian. Yes, sometimes, like in King's Indian. But in this game, Maybe Ivanovich prepared at home. He think, why I must play bishop e7 after f5, after bishop f6, g6, and bishop g7? Why I must spend so many tempo to bring bishop to g7 when I can do this is immediately? And he played g6 immediately with idea, play bishop g7 and follow, and follow this uh, idea what make Tseshkovsky uh, in game against Tal. But I believe that this is small mistake, maybe. Not small, maybe big mistake. And by my principle that chess is science, I can tell you one uh, principle, what you can use, you can accept or not. I don't recommend to my students never not looking for new way for peace when he, you want to develop. When you have one, for example, bishop can develop. I every time think that maybe this is a little weakness to have, uh, to uh, looking for new way to develop pieces. G6, castle, and black play bishop G7. First, we must look at character position. We must look for the plan. What must do white, what must do black. Because chess, I tell you, this is strategy, military strategy, attacking and counterattacking. White have a little advantage in the queen side. In general, in future, white won't push pawn in this side, try to open more line to take line. This is plan in, for when white finish develop like bishop e3, maybe b4, rook c1, and c4, c5. This is general plan in this type position. What must black do? Black, because white won't attack in the queen side, black must look at how to counterattacking in center. But center is closed. Because when center is closed, they must look at how to push pawn in the king side, where they have advantage. They have more pawns, more soldiers in the king side. An idea is to push f5, f4, f4, of course, when they finish develop. But if we're looking now what we have in the board, and if we're looking, for example, for weaknesses, where black has weakness? First, you must understand what is weakness. Weakness, it is pawn or piece who not defends, or when this is pawn or piece, defends by more bigger piece. Uh, between chess pieces, we have same subordination. I don't know if this is English word or not, like we have in army. What this means? It is means that soldier must defend more uh, bigger uh, military title, and so on. Because now we have looked that pawn d6 is weakness in the black position. Because he cannot be defended by pawn, and he only can be defended by more bigger piece than pawn. And when you have weaknesses, or when you see weaknesses in position your opponent, you always must give attention to this weakness, how you can use. And now white starting plan, it is not only move, this is plan to attacking this weakness. And white play knight e4. Have a look. Now white attacking pawn. 
But in first, your opinion, what is this? I can defend very simple. I can play knight f6, I can play queen e7, I can play queen c7. What's the problem? But I remind you again, that weakness, it is every time when pawn or piece not defense or can be defense by more bigger piece. And uh, after knight e4, for example, you cannot play knight f6. You can play, but it is not good. Because white have this is check. What you can do? You cannot close by bishop d7, because I take this pawn by check. And after, uh, you lose pawn and uh, castling. Uh, you cannot play b5, because I take your pawn, and I defend my knight. And you're losing pawn. And it is means that you must losing the uh, castling, what is not good every time if you have not nothing compensation for this. Because knight f6, we cannot recommend. White can defend this pawn by queen c7 or queen e7. Maybe you think, but I can play knight c5. Yes, you can play knight c5, but after change knights, change knights, I have very strong pawn, what we say defend in the center. It is a very big advantage position. And uh, all the pawn structure in the queen side is very weak. And white very quickly play bishop e3 and prepared before. And this is uh, make position black very bad. Because after knight d6, my opponent play queen e7. He, play, he can play queen c7. But after queen c7, White won't play queen a4 if uh, black play queen c7. I will play queen a4. Now, logical move castling. And I make position advantage by playing queen a3. And you, you have a look. I'm attacking this pawn. And when you play knight c5, I tell you this, uh, what you have trouble, because I have very strong uh, pawn on d5. Yes. But if you play f5, you cannot throw away the knight now, because my knight immediately go here and coming to e6, and you have very uh, big problem. Because now, black play queen e7. And of course, if this is only move like move, if you not use uh, this as move for your plan, for your plan, it is a weak move. Because if you nothing not get it from this uh, idea to attacking weakness, black may castle, and after they push all the pawns with tempo. And you only lose, uh, strategically you lose the game, because black make more fast attack in the king side like you prepared in the queen side. But right now, after queen e7, white same play queen e4. And have a look. You cannot, if you make castle, if you make castle, white again play, not queen e3, maybe queen b4. Attacking the pawn d6, you have only one move, knight c5, white take, take, and play queen b6. And next move, bishop e3, and next move, b4, and after c5, and you know, like I say, that uh, you have position in what we put, like we put under the position, uh, dynamite. You know, this is black is... Uh, exploiting, yes. Because after queen e4, what, what uh, black can do? What they can do after uh, uh, queen e4? And black try to immediately make uh, something against this knight who, who attacking this weakness. Of course, if you play now, for example, knight g5 with the idea of put here, black can have very strong counterplay by playing b5, for example. b5, cb5, knight c5, and after threw away the knight from the, uh, his own territory, and uh, I think that uh, white has big problem because they uh, losing in development, because this is knight who use so many uh, moves. And now, of course, after bishop, after f5, white used this move 
for develop with tempo. Bishop g5. Have a look. I attacking queen, and queen might move because you cannot play not knight f6, bishop f6, you cannot play. You must only move, but you must move and in the same time defense the weakness on d6. Queen f8, only one move. And now I will tell you that when you have advantage in develop, and maybe uh, some of you don't know how to understand what is advantage in develop, I give very small advice, very simple advice. You can use finger of your hand. You can see how many pieces not developed, for example, black, and how many pieces not developed, for example. And the difference, you can understand who have advantage in develop. Of course, it is, you can see that white, in principle, develop all his pieces. Maybe not only rook, but black not develop bishop, not make castle, queen is not in good position. Because when you have advantage in develop, Please remember that this is only one solution must be. When you have big advantage in develop, only one solution must be. You must attacking. Like, what is means attacking? What is means attacking? It is means that you must open line for rook, open diagonals for bishop, take a good place for knights. You must open everything good what can do this your pieces. Now, when you want to open the line, this is move f4 is absolute. You understand this is move. Because if you take now knight, white open line f, attacking queen, next move is 6 and I think this is uh, black very near to resign. How to play after f4? How to play after f4? Black play maybe the best move. They play h6. They ask this bishop go away, bishop h4, and now only one move to take this pawn. Rook take f4, and now white won't make small combination. If white to move, they will take this pawn, rook take f5. You cannot take by queen because knight take d6 and you losing queen, and you cannot take by pawn because bishop h5 and you losing the game. I have, this is white have this idea. Because now black must defense this is weakness. You remember that d6 is weakness because pawn cannot be defended by pawn. And this is weakness. And bishop e5. Now he attacking rook. And uh, if rook moving, for example, rook go f2, black very fast finish develops, they play queen g7, make castle, and not only white lose advantage in initiative go to black. And now how to play? But I tell you, my friend, that if you have advantage in develop, you must not stop against sacrifice sometime because Initiative, your advantage in develop is more important like uh, some uh, material things. And white play rook f1. You see, we develop everything. Now, now if you take this rook, if black take this rook and win exchange up, but you have same problem. I want now to take again rook take f5, Rook take f5, and you cannot take by queen because knight take b6 check. You cannot take by pawn bishop h5, and you have advantage. And uh, you see that every time, every time we have deal, we have business with weakness again and again. Weakness, it is pawn or piece who def not defending generally or defense by more bigger piece. And uh, if you want to have another analogies, I can tell you. For example, have a look how wolf hunting against ships. You maybe see in films. You know what kind of ships he won't eat. Maybe this is a surprise for you. But he every time looking for the smallest, for the ship who is not good defense, who cannot defense 
by on same in chess same in chess this is this is like life is working in the chess board because now how to play because i won't take here and for example if you play king f7 except from this all ideas white can play queen a3 and against looking for the smallest ship i make try to make image if you understand my image you see this pawn is always weakness because in this position my opponent is not take the rook because after taking the rook his position is very very bad and he now he now play queen g7 yes only one move he won't make castle and he make all problem in the opening because maybe next move you must leave this is rook and now how to continue the attack but if you believe that your strategy in your game is okay if you believe that you do everything good you must have solution it is impossible maybe you think oh i play very good very good and after he beat me he beat you because you not open right way how to continue your great uh, plan what you make in opening you must not stop if you must sacrifice you must understand that maybe this is only short way to make your plan in real life to make your uh, uh, plan and now after a long time thinking i sacrifice rook i sacrifice rook to stop king in center this is only way how i can uh, make uh, how i can believe that my plan working good rook take a five he must take and i take again no maybe few uh, of you uh, ask me why you not play bishop h5 check king f8 rook take f5 check king g8 and the uh, king in terrible situation plus but i did not see what i can have a solution in this position uh, for example if i play rook f7 he can give me queen and he have three pieces for queen this is more than enough because in this time i not force what we said what we said and not we it is uh, we have this is words from the history the threat is more strong than execution and this is very nice for chess you must not sometimes force the game you must say the threat is more strong than execution remember this is great word who come to us not for uh, from chess from history now yes now i won't give check bishop h3 this is trait is more strong than i give check and after take on f5 and only now one move to stop me to give this is winning check is playing h5 of course if i play now bishop h5 he give exchange up and he survive and uh, because when you are attacking you must not change many pieces it is normal if you have attack if you have attack you must uh, have more pieces for attack in opposite if your opponent attacking you the best way to stop his attack try to exchange pieces when you change pieces his attack his initiative go down now how to continue attack how to continue the attack you see all pieces in the good situation but we have not one rook and if you not do something very fast uh, your attack can go to to end and white play now c5 very strong move what's the idea idea is now first you have idea to maybe take this pawn but how to play now for black uh, for example if they play like they play in this game the best move queen h6 but if they play queen g6 it is another it is alternative uh, in this position queen g6 if queen g6 white 
make very nice combination. Like knight take d6 check, bishop take d6. Now queen e4 check, you know this is idea c5, is not only attacking pawn d6, but bring the more strong piece to the real attack. Queen e4 check, now you have only one move, is bishop e5. Because you cannot play knight e5, because I take and you losing the queen. You must only play bishop e5, but now rook take e5, knight take e5, queen take e5, king f7, queen take h8, queen take h8. And you see that position, black king is very dangerous, but when you calculate this type uh, variation, you must be careful because black every time can make something very strong. Have a look. You're attacking queen and black won't give checkmate on g2. But white have very good solution. White has this move queen h5, they pin the queen and king and you cannot give checkmate and white winning. It is show to us that queen g6 is not working. But how to play? And black play the best move in this position. Black play queen h6. They won't go to counterplay. Queen c1 and, and uh, they looking for counterplay. And they invite this bishop to g5 by tempo, because when you're attacking and when you sacrifice material, you must try to do everything by tempo. It is, uh, you have no time. Be, and now black play queen g6. Now we must calculate same variation. Maybe this is same situation like bishop on h4 or bishop on g5, but big difference. Now, if you take knight take d6, bishop take d6, queen e4 check, Bishop e5, rook take e5, knight take e5, queen take e5, king f7, queen take h8. But right now, bishop is under the control, not under, and black take this bishop. And this is very interesting position. In first looking, after bishop h5, king is in dangerous, but White cannot do, not enough pieces. And not d6, not queen e8, for example, queen e8, king f6, queen d8 check, king f5. And you have not enough pieces to, to stop, to, to kill this king or win the queen. g4, king f4, you know now is king very important pieces. He is not more baby what we talked in my previous lecture. Now he is king and he is so powerful. And uh, another way, for example, to give him d6 check, of course, he cannot play king e d7 because queen e8 checkmate, but he's king, he can go, king e6. And no, nobody cannot uh, make him uh, something bad. In black must winning because they have uh, material advantage. Because this variation, what working in the previous variation, now not working. And how to make solution in this position? Have a look. Very uh, strong white pieces, but where is solution? Solution is here. Knight take d6, bishop take d6, queen e4 check, only one move, bishop e5. And now, very brilliant move, very brilliant move is bishop d3. I have image with this move. Maybe you stay in concert, you listen good music, but when it is play orchestra, and orchestra is do very well when all instrument together. You see, now it is not so many pieces, but they working together, like in orchestra, every instruments are doing, yes? Yes, and after bishop d3, you have no defense because now I will take rook take e5, knight take e5, I will take this knight and win the queen. 
And what can do black now? What they can do? How to defend against this idea? And black have a look and play only one possible move, queen g7. Yes, queen g7. But have a look. So big advantage black have. But advantage in pieces they have. But pieces not working. What I tell you, and maybe this is game can a little show you how this is important when you have developed, the uh, advantage in develop. Yes, this is rookies more, but they are like statists. They're not working. And position, black is near to losing because white make advantage with small pieces. They make so big advantage that uh, black cannot defend. And main minus in the position, black, that king, baby, in center. He is in danger. And nobody cannot help him. White continued attack. C6 now. B takes C6. D takes C6. Now I will take knight and take bishop. And only one way to play knight c5, rook take e5, and knight e6. They give one piece back to stop final attack. And what I remember, when I play this game, I write in my score sheet, I write very nice move c7. c7. Because now I attacking rook, and in the same time I will took knight took by queen and make another queen and this is and I <clears throat> because this is game we play about five hours near to five hours and I only put in my score sheet this move but I not make I have a little nervous why I have nervous because it is in many variations this is black king always moving but right now, I have a look in score sheet and I see, but king is moving before. And I open that he not moving. It is means that now he can make castle. You see, it is castle who makes survive him, who, who defends. Oh my God, I said. And uh, I cannot, uh, because my calligraphy is same like my English is not so good, and I, Cannot understand king move before or not, but you see there's so many variations when king move, not move, and I cannot open in my score sheet. This is he move or not. But because I cannot open that he cannot move, I stop my pawn, uh, my move, move c7, and I play uh, normal move bishop c4, and game is finished like this. Queen e7 check, I defense, now he play queen h7. Of course, he want to change queens, but who will change? I rook take e6, bishop take e6, queen take e6. Now he cannot play here because I give him checkmate. No, near like checkmate. Uh, bishop b6. He cannot play here because I give him check here, and when he take, I give queen f7 checkmate because only one move is queen e7. Now I give him queen g6 check. Now he can move here or here. Here he cannot move because I give him bishop h6 check. And when he take this bishop, I give queen g8 checkmate. He, if he move here, I will give him bishop b6 check. He must move here. After I give him another bishop check, he move here. And queen g3, and next move is checkmate. And uh, my